Yes, uh, Wayne and Bruce here, Terp Talk. We have Tarheeb still. Of course, you can still listen to us on 1300 CBS Sports Radio with Terp Talk every Wednesday at 6 o'clock, brought to you by Coons Ford. Tarheeb, you came in, uh, your story's almost legend already, a freshman, you were the New Jersey all-time receiving, receiving yardage leader, and you show up here in Maryland become the shutdown corner. Is that something that you you picked to do, or is that just something that, that happened because of the time and the place? Well, I feel as though high school, you know, everybody plays a lot of things in high school, you know, just want to help your team win. Uh, so I was good on the offense side of the ball, but I was also good on defense too. But like I didn't really have a lot of opportunities. I didn't really have a lot of targets in high school. But then uh, I always knew I was going to play DB in college though, because uh, that's what me and Coach Ross talked about while he was recruiting me. And I always knew I wanted to be a DB. And then like the off season, going into uh, my freshman year at Maryland, I just put in a lot of work so I can try to make an impact early. Tony, you've been praised across the country. Is it tough to, I'm sure the coaches tell you, keep yourself, your head in place, you know, in a sophomore year. Everybody knows how you can play now. How excited are you for this year? Well, I'm actually very excited, not just for myself, though, uh, for the team. Because I feel as though that everybody in the team, we, we know what we can do. We know we have the pieces, we have the guys, it's time to make it happen, you know? Yeah, the, the rest of your defensive backfield is just probably, Wayne, would you say the best Maryland's had in a long, long time? Yeah, it's a long one, but you also have to remember that Maryland puts defensive backs in the pros. Right. And we're exactly. known for that. They're so. there, KC, and, you know, they're there. Right. Uh, is that part of the reason you came here, the history of Maryland's defensive backs and uh, advancing? Well, uh, obviously that's something you know about coming in here, but I, I think I came here because uh, Coach Box, he had a good plan, and then when I first met and sat down with him, uh, his philosophy of what he wanted to do here and what he wanted to do to his program is something I just couldn't resist and I had to be a part of. Talk about uh, your defensive coordinator, T.J. Stewart. Wow. I mean, you have to be new to him. He's especially Yeah, he's actually a very great coach. You know, he's very smart. He knows the game. And then not even um, well, outside of football, he can just coach more life. He can it's just little stuff. He, he shows he actually cares. And then on the field, he's going to do whatever it takes to push you to where he knows you can get, even if you know, even if you feel like you can't get there yourself. You know. Uh, are you going to stay number twelve? Uh, well, we don't know. We just have to see. You know. Okay. Well, it was up to you. It was up to me. I'll probably wear number one. But you know, I'm, I'm sure that <laughs> you you probably would uh, deserve the number one. The last great Maryland corner corner safety that wore number one, I think, was Zakita Covington. You can look this up in the mid '80s. That's you, going you, way back to well, you can look it up. It's in the record books. Uh, but there, there's been a history of Maryland guys rocking the one yeah. on defense and making an impact. Thanks for being a Terp. You are a pleasure to watch. Appreciate it. Have a great season, man.